Well, good morning. It's your old buddy in Turf 66, and I'm out here at the pond this morning. And you can see I'm gonna do a little work with the old sieve filter. And I got my buddy Weston out here with me this morning. He's not too enthused right now, but he's out here gonna give me a hand. Uh, what I'm gonna do, you know, we had the problem with the leak. I took off as much of the uh, silicone as I can get. And uh, one of my subscribers, uh, I consider a friend, completely disinterested. If you get a chance, check his channel out. Well, he gave me the idea. Of course, I've been thinking about it, but, well, he said, why don't I just go ahead and use uh, cement, plastic cement, such like that. I've been thinking about it for a while, but the problem with that, when you put it on there, it is permanent very permanent but I am so tired of the leaks and the drips and all that stuff so what I'm going to do since I peel off more of this is I'm going to go ahead and put the primer on first I've got the primer two-step I got primer and I've got the cement now they don't sponsor me but if either one of those companies would like to sponsor me I am available, just to let you know. Need all the income I can get so I can build this channel. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the primer on. And I'll show you when I'm done. Alright, as you can see, I put it on. I mean, I put it on thick. That hose is going to go on there. And when it goes, it's going to have that cement to hold it. As you can see, I really put it on. Put it down here too. Any chance of a leak, I'm going to nip it in the bud. I'm tired of leaks. I'm tired of this thing leaking. But now, it, when it is permanent, if I ever want to take that hose off, what I'm going to have to do is cut that hose right about there. Because that hose is going to be permanently stuck there. But that's all right. If something goes wrong, well, I'll just take this tote and do what i got to do with it. So I'm going to let this dry. And then in a little while, I'm going to go ahead and put cement on. back and I really put that cement on as thick as I could down here too definitely up here uh, I noticed some of the cement was a little old it shouldn't have been that old but it was a little uh, clumpy but hopefully it will make a difference I'm gonna let it dry really good in fact I may let it dry the rest of the day and maybe try to start it up again tomorrow uh, hope it should be good to go now. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I know I'm a little excited about hopefully finally getting this thing run without any leaks. Alright. Well, stay tuned. Because hopefully the next part of this video will be me starting it up. Either this evening or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I'll let it dry overnight. I don't know how good it'll dry out here. It's supposed to be cold tonight. But I'm not going to drag it back and forth to the garage because it'll be cold in the garage too. So I'll let it sit out here. I'll probably let it dry the rest of the day. And hopefully tomorrow I'll get it up and running. And hopefully no leaks. We shall see. That PVC cement should do the trick. Alright, well I want to thank you very much for watching on this sunny and beautiful day. And it is a sunny and beautiful day. The water's looking good and clear, which I'm tickled to death about that as well. Alright. Stay tuned and thank you very much for watching and have a great, great day.